What's going on, everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nations, bloggingtheboys.com. Hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're happy, safe, healthy, and here is your daily update for Wednesday, September 22nd. Life remains good for the Dallas Cowboys. You know, the Monday after a win, super nice. The Tuesday after a win, super nice. The Wednesday after a win, spoiler, it is super nice. Now, this is not your normal, typical Wednesday for the Dallas Cowboys because they do play a day later than everybody else in the NFL. So most teams in the NFL having their normal, standard, prototypical Wednesdays, things just a bit different for the Dallas Cowboys because they are playing on Monday Night Football. Big game coming up, obviously, so preparations underway in some different capacities, obviously, because every team is always working, grinding, you know, burning that midnight oil, getting ready for their next game. And since it is Wednesday, it's a notable day because Mike McCarthy, Dallas Cowboys head coach said on Monday that today is the day that defensive end Randy Gregory is expected to rejoin the team at the star after coming off of the reserve COVID-19 list. Now, Randy Gregory is somebody who we all have a high level of belief in, somebody who we all believe can help this defense out, and somebody who can hopefully help this defense reach another new level. Now, why did I say another new level? Well, that's because the Cowboys defense is operating at a level that I don't think any of us really thought was possible. I mean, it was possible in a literal sense, but it really was out of our wildest streams. I'm going to say something. All right. Now, this is 100% true. This isn't a stretching of the truth. This isn't an exaggeration. This isn't a hyperbole. This is 100% objective fact. The Dallas Cowboys defense leads the NFL in turnovers. And I'm talking like turnovers they generate, you know, like getting their hands on the ball that doesn't belong to them at the beginning of the play. The Dallas Cowboys defense, America's team, has generated six turnovers through two games, which, again, is good for most in the NFL through two games, an admittedly small sample size, four takeaways in the season opener against the reigning world champion Buccaneers, two takeaways against the Los Angeles Chargers last week. Trayvon Diggs has two interceptions. DeMonte KZ has an interception and a fumble forced. I know I said fumble force, force fumble, whatever. Things are good for the Cowboys. Don't worry about my word usage here. Now, here's the thing. Since 1970, there have been 166 teams in NFL history since that point, 1970 again, the merger, that have forced six takeaways in a season's first two weeks. Those teams go on to average at least approximately two takeaways per game. You can kind of bet your bottom dollar that the Cowboys defense is going to generally force about two takeaways per game. That's a good thing. We want to see takeaways. We want to see turnovers. We want to see the Cowboys defense giving the Cowboys offense the ball, more opportunities to score. Turnovers, takeaways also generally mean short field. So if you're given this offense led by Dak Prescott, another opportunity to score with a short field to work with, generally good things will happen. So that is exciting to see from the Cowboys. And look, this is an exciting week. I mean, it's Monday Night Football. It's the home debut. The first game the Cowboys had to play without Dak Prescott last year actually happened on Monday Night Football. It was a big-time loss against the Arizona Cardinals. So in a weird way, the Cowboys can kind of pick back up where they left off, at least at AT AT&T Stadium. They'll be wearing their home whites. We haven't even seen those jerseys yet this season. It's going to be an exciting time this week on Monday Night Football. And we have a lot of exciting things planned for you here on the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe right here. We'll have our preview conversation, obviously, with Bleeding Green Nation, our friends over there that cover the Philadelphia Eagles. We'll have more conversations with other people, other fine friends on the Blog and the Boys podcast network, so on and so forth. It's Eagles week. I mean, this is this is why we this is why we lift all them weights. This is the best time of the year. Cowboys have an opportunity to get to two and one with games against the Panthers and the Giants and the Patriots following Monday Night Football, which means they are in a very solid position if they do win this game. When they win this game, rather. So, uh, good times are coming. The week has begun. Let's enjoy it. Subscribe right here to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. Subscribe to our podcast network. Check out blogandtheboys.com. And while you're doing a bunch of stuff, make sure you have yourself a great day. All right. My name is RJ Ocho. You know me, of course, from Blog and the Boys. We love you all. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time.